What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link in discount code down in the description. You also know I'm a Weeble Preferred of Libitzer. Best promotion in the pen comment. All I need you to do is click that link in the pen comment. Deposit any amount of money. $1, $5, doesn't matter. They are going to not only give you free fractional shares, but they will also give you a percentage back on your uninvested cash. So you just let that cash sit there. You never put it into the market. It is going to earn you a return, and honestly, that is an incredible promotion. Only takes a couple minutes. Go take advantage of it today. Helps my channel out a lot, and honestly, can help you a lot. Now, I will also say one thing that is not sponsored is this review. I did not take anything from this company or Wildcard Football. In full transparency, I reached out to them a few times, didn't get any response. So based on your feedback, I went ahead and got the game. So let me just say the concept execution right off the bat is better than I expected. I love the fact this game starts off with Chris Berman. It kind of gives you those 2K5 nostalgia feelings right away. To me, that's a good thing to have. You also have to understand that me personally, I looked at this game maybe rivaling Mutant League football, maybe trying to revitalize NFL Street. You'll understand though right away and I want to make this clear, beginning of this review. I wouldn't even say it's a review, but I don't see myself doing much with this game. This is not going to replace Madden. Okay, Madden is Madden. Simulation football games are simulation football games. And this is specifically not that. What this game is going to do, though, is provide you a satisfying football gameplay experience. And what you'll have to decide is, is that all you need or want right now? Because I came into this game with very low expectations. And I was immediately taken back with how clean the game looks and plays. The world quality, the character quality, the environment, the attention to detail. The controls are extremely familiar to anyone that's played a football game in the last 15 years. It actually has some cutscenes that remind me of a football game I used to play, I believe, on Super Nintendo. And I can't remember. I actually tried to look it up for the life of me. There was a game that I played where you would have like a deep pass and it would focus on a cutaway of the receiver and the defensive back and it would either be a completion. It just basically played you a little vignette. If anyone remembers that game, please let me know. But this game immediately brought me back to that and I had not thought of that game in probably 15, 20 years. So within five minutes of playing this game, as a lifetime gamer, I already have two very good football memories that have been brought up. Now, for being an arcade game, I will also say this game does a lot to respect the game of football. Your power-ups aren't just going to guarantee you a win-loss. It does actually want you to respect the game of football. You're not just going to be able to throw in to triple coverage because it's an arcade football game. You're not just going to be able to do whatever you want on the field and not play any type of assignment because it's an arcade football game. And because of that, you really don't have that kind of dice roll feeling that we're used to, even though you will see some of the animations repeated. Now, I was also extremely impressed with the teams because, again, coming into this, my expectation was that the quarterbacks would really be leading the team. But when you actually look at the teams, you'll find that it's not just the quarterbacks, but honestly, kind of a well-thought-out roster, a lot of key players that you're going to recognize. And obviously, what's going to distinguish this game Game is the wild card. So you have modifiers, which basically change the player or team. You have rule breakers that change the objective. And then obviously you have what most people like myself are going to dislike the most, which is kind of the outside interference. And all of these are done very well. They're limited. So you can also kind of pick and choose when you need to use them, but also you can use them in conjunction with your opponent, which can kind of lead to a bit of a chess match. You can have your team fast, you can have their team slow, you can do them individually, or you can do them together. And that's a really smart concept that I like, because it's not just simply putting something in that takes away from the game, but rather adding an element to the game that I honestly didn't anticipate would be there in the first place. Now, the game does have a lot of things you have to progress through to unlock stadiums and uniforms, but from what I can see, very well thought out, very detailed, and I will say there is a season mode here, but it is very, very basic. I do also appreciate that you have not only online play, but the ever getting out of the console market 
co-op play. So if you want to have someone over and you want to play this game, honestly, the way this game was probably meant to be played on a shared screen against an opponent that's a human being, you can do that. And that to me is kind of what brings me back to all the fun games that you played probably when you were younger, your Mario Karts. Uh, for some of you, probably Mario Party. To me, that feeling of here is a well-made quality game that just happens to focus around football is what I got so much more than here's an arcade football game. And I feel like if you play the game, you'll understand that sentiment more than just me saying it, but I didn't anticipate saying that in this review. I can also say to kind of surmise where this game is, why EA chose to move away from the yard. Because I don't want to compare every game to EA and Madden, but I do think it needs to be said. This is a smaller developer. This is a limited budget. This is the NFL PA sponsoring this game. And yet somehow they've created a game that as gamers, we have yearned for years to have. Not a simulation football replacement, but an arcade football alternative that is going to be providing us quality gameplay and a fun experience. Am I going to be sitting here doing breakdowns about defensive backs and linebackers in this game? No, but the reality is if I watch a football game Thursday night or I've got a couple minutes Sunday morning and I just want to go ahead and take a little bit of time to play a football game, I hate to break it to you. This is probably going to be the game that a lot of people start going to rather than trying to boot up an EA Sports product because I don't think you're going to find yourself turning away from this game simply because of how fun it is. And I know a lot of people, when I say, I hate to break it to you, don't think that's going to be the case, but I really do feel like that is going to be the case because ultimately what this game taught me in a very short period of time is what we're actually looking for in a game is two things, control and fun. And right now, this game can offer you those two things mixed with a high quality world an absolute incredible attention to detail, and a relatively respectable price point. So while I've never been one to sit here and do reviews and give scores and tell you what to buy and what you shouldn't buy and what you should be doing and how you should be spending your time, I will again offer to you, if you've been sitting there for the past couple years and saying, hey, I just wish I had a quick football game to play that I can enjoy, get in, get out, get on with life, not feel like I've been cheated, not feel like I'm being overwhelmed with microtransactions, not feel like I have to commit an hour and a half to play a game, not feel like I'm going to rage quit and turn the console off when I'm done, not immediately regret my purchase 15 minutes into the game because something happened that I'd seen for the last 10 years that I got tired of telling the developers to fix, then, and only then, would this game present a viable option for you to play a football game. I would also, in that same light, highly recommend if that's all you're looking for, give Mutant League Football a try. They're very similar mindsets in their games, but they're extremely different approaches in how you play them. If you loved NFL Street, I honestly believe you will love this game. And if you didn't like NFL Street, I still think you're going to find something redeeming about the game that's presented here. Hopefully, they can build on this. They can expand. Hopefully, they can give us 11-11, water it down a little bit with the arcade aspect, and see what can happen then. Other than that, I would love to know your thoughts on this game. Appreciate you watching this video. And you know, when they've got a game coming out that I actually liked more than I expected to, there's no way that I will not be back in the week with more coming.